And if you got something to say about that, come with us. Teaming together, yeah. but we, we dislike each other very much. Immensely, some might say. Well, how, this can't work. How can we coexist? Do you, uh, do you like cake? I prefer pie. You son of a bitch, this isn't gonna work. I can't, I can't, I can't work with you. Do you like corn? Huh? You're barking up the right tree, my friend. Buddy, I think we found that common bond that we need to become the greatest tag team in the history of the Lucha Libre. Uh, team name. For our team name. That might be the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, baby! Oh! So, uh, Master Patient! But we want you people at home to be the masturbators that me and B never could be. I want each and every one of you people here tonight to go home and practice masturbating and never, ever, ever give up. And when you guys masturbate, you think of yourself as a big Wellington. I don't know what's more sad, the fact they asked or the more the fact that people are clapping and agreeing with them. And I happen to be well over 18. <laughs> yes, you're very old. I, I'm not that old, uh, young. Um, you don't look your age. Childlike, in fact. But that's just a little sick. Uh, I don't know how Ed O'Mac got in here. Um, you have an exceptionally strong hand grip. Well, God. I do work out a little bit, but it's only this hand, the left one's kind of weak. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, Necro, Necro Butcher, we are, we're still on to go see Mr. and Mrs. Smith next week, right? No, um, I think uh, Zandig told me that Brad Smith puts in a scintillating performance. I promise that you won't be letting the door. You want me to fucking cut you? I will cut you. I'll cut you too. I got a fucking blade, motherfucker. I don't have to start cutting people in their own fucking offices. Seriously, come on. Right. I'm not bullshitting around anymore. Hey, I'm student wrestlers. If you're starting to listen to that episode, episode of Dragnet, that motherfucker. I ain't bullshitting, man. Get the fuck away from me, man. You endorse marijuana? I'm high right now. You must be high, you must be high, Cloudy. I'm high right now, you must be high, Cloudy. You endorse marijuana? I'm high right now. Oh, cigarettes will kill you, man. I ain't talking about cigarettes, Chris Hero. We're gonna have all the bitches and we definitely gonna have all the weed. Makes me feel like I have a bigger dick. Straight up. Makes me feel like I'm more of a man. And I like that feeling. You must be high, Cloudy. I'm gonna walk away now because that's all I gotta say. Probably gonna smoke more weed. Back to reality. We can sleep my ass! I sacrifice for this sport! I am wrestling! You look African. Oh! And children are. Oh! oh! Who the hell's gonna get this staple out? Oh no! It's about getting my spot back here in CZW, no matter what it takes. I'm bringing in somebody that has never been in CZW before. Alter Boy Luke. This woman's ass must be hungry because it's eating her shorts. <laughs> you love it. CZW exposed. Hold on. Hold on. Just for a second. This is an official message. Message. Message for the youth of America. Don't smoke. It is bad for you. It will make you to be impotent, to lack erections. It's going to reduce the size of your testicles. It's going to give you bad breath. So when you're eating out your mother, she's going to have a smelly cunt. She has said that very vulgar word again. Thank you. Would you please proceed? Actually, before we go any further, I, I, I believe I need to apologize to you. 
And I believe every time we've had to shoot a promo or a segment together, I flipped you off. So basically, I apologize to you. Beat it now. Ah, uh, yo, interviewer, come back, come back. Actually, yeah, yeah. I thought I could give you some camera time. Feel better about myself. Oh, here we go again. Spit a boot to the head. Two shot, oh, flipping. Rich Swan into the first row. And another boot to the head. I would do anything to get them to turn that song off. And I would do that. Come in the promo, DJ Hyde. Come on, come on, come on TV. You haven't been on TV forever. You know why? Because you suck. Any Canadian Canuck Canoe wrestler wants to come in and fight me, not you. Are you, are you Canadian? No. I don't believe you're going to have time to get your citizenship by the time we get to the next show. Unfortunately, this opportunity will not be yours. What the fuck did you just say? Canoe. Frankie, go fuck yourself. Oh! What an asshole! I didn't even fucking wipe my ass. I'm going to be in California. California. He's not going to be here next month. No, no, it's just me. So it's just you. Yeah. So you speak for Chris Hero. Yeah, yeah. So you're a jackass too. Yeah. I still got turd on my, on my fucking underwear right now. Like, I mean, this is serious shit. He's a dragon! He's a fire-breathing dragon! Adoken! Or a good tool, for that matter. Or a meal, but he's got a deal. That's Raymond. Locking horns. Oh! Uh oh, well, it's getting started now, a little shoving. What? What, what chops, Manhattan? Um. Dude, I need to go lay down. Tell me when the show actually starts. Well, there he goes off the ropes. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at the bump. Goes to the other ropes. Coming for the other bump. Delirious, definitely feeling that. Hey, absolutely. Uh, cover, and no. Kick is hard. He's playing with it now. And Westfall is being jerked around like a puppet. Oh! Back into the ring. Oh, that... Uh, That'll hurt your boys. That's a Russian how do you do it done with the ropes there. Oh! And Westfall feels the sting. And the fans approve, and so do I. Uh, absolutely. Now I will say this, I will say this. El Trunco has defeated the Sandman. <laughs> and I don't know if it's the use of the car's magic, if it's just the fact that he truly is drunk off his ass every time. I think El Drunko's ordering some nachos. Uh, I think El Drunko just realized that someone's taking one of his beers. Uh-oh. This, this might get ugly. Well, maybe. Poor El Drunko. <laughs> oh.
This is real. 